Good morning guys. This morning I just wanted to show you uh, the setup that I have for night vision on my uh, air rifle. It's a .177 caliber Daisy 880. This is one of the setups that I have. I also have it set up on a rimfire as well as a centerfire rifle. I've tested them out on on this one as well as the 22, still pending the centerfire rifle uh, test. In any case, uh, just thought I'd share that with you because it's very exciting. I always thought that uh, trying to set up night vision for hunting or shooting in general uh, was going to be very expensive, uh, somewhere in the two to five thousand dollar range. I know they have it down now to five to six hundred dollars uh, in some setups uh, that are pretty neat. Now this has got this is not thermal imaging or anything like that. This is strictly infrared night vision uh, that I've uh, put together by watching YouTube videos uh, from it started with uh, Ted's Holdover uh, which is a great YouTube site as well as Rolaid's Night Vision. I just wanted to say thank you to those two guys especially because I followed a lot of their suggestions in trying to set up uh, my rifles as well. So right now uh, I'll just go ahead and attempt to describe what I have set up. Uh, the basic components of the system are so camera looking down this tube into the scope of your rifle, an infrared flashlight and a 4 inch or 5 inch monitor. Uh, there's also a also a battery, a 12 volt battery on this side here. Now some people also mount a portable DVR recorder, uh, digital video recorder, on this side here. I have this little uh, cartridge pouch, or cheek rest, uh, on the uh, stock of the rifle just to be able to mount this battery on here. And then there's wiring that goes up obviously to the camera and to this uh, monitor as well as if it were it had a DVR then you'd uh, go to that as well. And of course there's video input from the from the camera that goes to the uh, monitor. Yeah. I'll describe and put links to all the information about all these the camera and the monitor and this infrared flashlight and the links below the video. In order to set this up uh, obviously you have to center the camera in this tube in line with the center line of this scope. So basically this is just a uh, piece of PVC tubing that fits the scope fairly snug. You might wrap some electrical tape on the scope uh, uh, or to make it fit into uh, the, the PVC tube here. I drilled and tapped what looks like 1024 screws into the PVC tube in order to centralize the uh, camera on there and I can show it to you close up. Like so. And I did the same on the front as well. So that it centralizes on the scope. As far as the monitor mount goes, basically I hot glued I hot glued the base onto a piece of wood that was cut into a, a shape, a half shape that uh, fit a half moon shape that fit on this, and I glued that on as well and just colored it black. So you can do whatever you wish there. I really like this mount. It's a scope adapter for a flashlight. You can get it any tactical supply or Amazon and so on. And that's basically the setup. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and show you how it works. So I turn it on by with this switch over here on the battery. Basically you just turn it back on that way. When it does that the camera then 
turns on and views through the scope and sends a signal to there. You can see the crosshair focused on that bird feeder over there. The camera has to be focused for day vision and also separately for night vision uh, on the objective lens. What I found through trial and error is that the camera has separate focal lengths for day vision and night vision. And so I would have to cut a little slot on the bottom of this here uh, in order to be able to adjust the focus of the camera. And that's very easy to do. So I will be doing that modification of this because, uh, because of the different focal lengths uh, at night things would appear out of focus if you had day vision set up. beauty of this thing is you can set up for day vision or night vision, which is awesome. Uh, it's not too bright during the day, so I was really excited about that. Pretty happy with this setup actually. Uh, very inexpensive. The camera was like, it was 25 bucks, but I'm going to probably switch to a slightly higher resolution camera. Uh, I believe it's an EJ230 that uh, Rolaids Night Vision mentioned. It's a really good camera as well. This monitor is about $20. This uh, infrared flashlight, the infrared flashlight here, was $50 from Evolva Futura Technologies, I believe. So the quality of your image is going to depend heavily on the quality of your scope. I have a 3 to 9x. So all in all, that's said, all said and done, so let's say 25, 20, that's 45, and 50 is 100 bucks, and then whatever labor. Of course, uh, I forgot about the, uh, forgot about the uh, 12 volt battery, that's about, I believe it's 50 bucks. So 150 bucks, you can have this uh, nice setup for hunting, or just plinking. I do a lot of plinking in the backyard. And, you know, between uh, 11 to 16, 15, 16 yards or so, and it's a lot of fun to be able to do this in your backyard. So here we go. Three pumps, safety off. I can watch the, the video this way. I'm not really shooting at anything, there's no pellet in there. about as loud as it is, so very innocuous, nobody can, doesn't really bother anybody. Safety on, three pumps, safety off, I can watch the video on this. Sometimes I can even rest it in my lap and just turn this up this way. If I have it this way, I can watch. Safety on, and I'm set. So if you ask me what I would uh, want to improve on this setup here, it would be this mess of wires over here. Uh, basically I bought some, a one to four splitter and was able to uh, connect everything to it. And then I cut off some parts of it in order to uh, simplify. I found that during the daytime, the scope covers with that little filter it has, or whatever it is that's on it's slightly greenish in color. It actually helps with the with cutting out the glare during the daytime. So that's all that is. I leave it on there. If you like it, leave it. If you don't like it, take it off. Just helps with the brightness of the recording.